Today we're here to announce the investment from UPS into Arrival, um, along with an order of 10,000 vehicles. So we've done loads of research with UPS and other customers to spend time with their, their operations and their drivers to really understand what they deal with, what experiences are good, what they struggle with. Um, but with UPS specifically, we spend a lot of time with their fleets at depots, out on the roads, time studies, ergonomics, so we really understand quite a lot of depth what their drivers experience day in, day out. So we're investing in Arrival to collaborate on the design and build of multiple vehicle types, but we're also standing behind that with an order for 10,000 vehicles so that we can service more customers in more countries and cities with zero tailpipe emission solutions, but also more intelligent vehicle solutions. A commercial van for, for most people is their place of work, um, and particularly for UPS drivers, a driver will do anywhere from 100 to 200 jobs per day. So the focus for us really is those repetitive tasks that a driver has to go through so many times. The focus for us is to make them seamless, comfortable and actually enjoyable. To make a UPS operation efficient, we utilise different sized vehicles for different sized operations. So Arrival's modular design allows us to design vehicles at multiple weight classes, but also of different volume sizes. We could easily just create one vehicle, which meets the requirements of one team and start producing that in high volumes. But what's special about Arrival is that we've put the thought into designing a platform and a technology of building body structures, which means we can build multiple vehicles really quickly custom to what a, a customer needs. What UPS really see in Arrival is that flexibility, that agility in how we work, and the ability to upgrade their vehicles over time. So we've been working together with UPS for, for just over three years now, and UPS are a really unique company in that the design of their vehicles is really integral to their operations of their company. Um, and so they've had many years now of building up a knowledge of what they want from their vehicles, from vehicle attributes to durability, service, repair, usability, driver interactions and, and driver well-being um, and we've quite fortunate in this relationship to take those requirements, build them directly into our vehicle product. So UPS have a really good understanding of what they want from their vehicles, from vehicle attributes to usability, driver well-being, durability, service, repair etc. Now traditionally UPS buy vehicles from existing manufacturers and then quite heavily modify them to provide those, those good requirements. So quite uniquely for us at Arrival, we can build them a vehicle that meets all of these requirements from day one. So the moment it leaves our assembly facility, that vehicle is fit for their operations. Yeah, absolutely. So we've done loads of research with UPS and other customers to spend time with their, their operations and their drivers to really understand what they deal with, what experiences are good, what they struggle with. Um, but with UPS specifically, we spend a lot of time in their fleets, with their fleets at depots, out on the roads, time studies, ergonomics, so we really understand quite a lot of depth what their drivers experience day in, day out. Yeah, so a van, a commercial van for, for most people is their place of work. Um, and particularly for UPS drivers, a driver will do anywhere from 100 to 200 jobs per day. So the focus for us really is those repetitive tasks that a driver has to go through so many times. The focus for us is to make them seamless, comfortable and actually enjoyable. And really fundamental to how we design vehicles is to make every experience as minimal as possible. I'm here to announce the investment from a UPS into Arrival. Um, at the moment we've got a few evaluations going on between our teams. So we have usability and functionality tests with our vehicles in their fleets. Soon we move on to moving those trials onto public roads and then later this year we move on to full functionality and durability testing with vehicles in fleets. So Arrival and UPS have been working together really closely for a number of years now and today we're really excited to unveil an investment from UPS into Arrival along with an order of 10,000 vehicles. We could easily just create one vehicle which meets the requirements of one team and start producing that in high volumes. But what's special about Arrival is that we've put the thought into designing a platform and a technology of building body structures which means we can build multiple vehicles really quickly custom to what a, a, a customer needs. So I think what UPS really see in Arrival is that flexibility, that agility in how we work and the ability to upgrade their vehicles over time. Okay. So some key principles to how we operate at Arrival and the product development we go through. So we want to remove all barriers to widespread adoption of electric vehicles. So a few aspects are really critical there for us. One, the price of the product. So complete cost parity between a diesel, petrol and now an electric vehicle. Two, to be able to offer really customised content and optimised vehicle for any fleet around the world. Um, and that in the way we produce vehicles, to assemble them with very low levels of capital investment required, we can build custom vehicles very quickly in small volumes around the world to really meet demand and really accelerate adoption. 
So we've been working with Arrival since 2016 to develop the world's most advanced electric package delivery vehicle. So we focus the design of the vehicle around the driver. So this purpose-built vehicle has been designed to be more ergonomic, but also to integrate more technology. So we're looking at more advanced driver assistant features and also how we can start to integrate features that really enhance the driver's day, but also the operational efficiency of that. Yeah, so UPS and Arrival have, have worked closely in terms of the design of this vehicle. We've really looked to look at the problem in a more broader context around what does a vehicle need to be and how can we address the challenges in the future. So we've looked at how we can integrate more ADAS features, but also how we can then automate things such as the door sequence for the drivers, how we can make the vehicle more intelligent with more connectivity, and also how we can focus it around an electric vehicle platform that's future-proofed with over-the-air updates so that we can continuously improve and enhance the vehicle while it's in service. Yeah, it's, it's really important to us because as we move into a decade, there's now a significant amount of advancement in terms of new technology that's emerging across the automotive industry. UPS operates its vehicles for a long duration, and we also want those to be zero tailpipe emission solutions. And as we look forward to the advent of additional automation features, it's important that the vehicles that we have today are upgradable and can be serviced in the future with things such as over-the-air update, but also looking into areas such as advanced diagnostics so that we can remotely connect with vehicles and repair faults at remote base as opposed to physically with the vehicle. We've been working very closely for several years to get us to this stage and we're really at this point now where we're going to be deploying these on the streets in different countries, different cities, so that we can really deliver more customers with zero tailpipe emission solutions. So it's really important for us. UPS is committed towards sustainability and we have a lot of goals around that. And one of those is 25% of our new vehicle purchases in 2020 onward will be an alternate fuel advanced technology vehicle solution. So for us, it's really important that we get that right because sustainability shouldn't just be the right thing for the environment, but it should also be the right thing for business. For, for us, we've long sought to really stimulate this market with electric vehicles. The simple fact is that our type of operation is really well suited to an electric delivery vehicle. Um, it's predictable routes, it's return to base, we have a luxury of overnight charging. We've demonstrated that in smaller scales in the past where electric vehicles are very well suited in urban areas. It helps us mitigate some of the air quality challenges that cities are facing. And Arrival really were the first company that offered that proposition to allow us to scale further so that UPS can scale electric vehicles on a much broader scale and have them in thousands um, across the world. Yeah, so as part of UPS's broadest transformation strategy, we're being led by technology and investing in innovative solutions that can solve some of our challenges. So this partnership that we're announcing now is really part of that transformation strategy of how we can move forward quicker. So we're investing in Arrival to collaborate on the design and build of multiple vehicle types, but we're also standing behind that with an order for 10,000 vehicles so that we can service more customers in more countries and cities with zero tailpipe emission solutions but also more intelligent vehicle solutions. So the design of the vehicle is really important for us that it's modular. UPS operates in a number of different environments from urban mega cities to more rural type areas and the design of the vehicle should really be optimized for its use case. That's one of the things that's crucial for us as we continue with this partnership. So having different sized vehicles optimized for its use case and its environment allows it to be most efficient but it also allows it to be more serviceable and more accessible so that we can really enhance what we do as a business.